So there have been a few questions about the lab in Earth Science today. So what I thought I'd do is I'd videotape some of it so you can kind of see what's supposed to happen, just in case yours doesn't work the right way. So what I have is my blue cold water that I've put two ice cubes in. This is clear hot water, but I couldn't really tell before when I poured the blue water in, so I colored it. So hopefully it'll show uh, better this time. So basically the idea is that is that cold water is heavier than hot water, so when I pour the blue water in, I should get a concentration of blue water down here at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is slowly pour it down the side because I don't want it to mix. So when I pour it down, you can actually see the green water at the bottom and the yellow water st still at the top. So that helps to really explain how cold water is heavier than hot water. It's the same thing as with the atmosphere where hot, water, hot air rises and cold air sinks. So that's why hot air balloons go up in the sky. Okay, so we're going to do that again, but this time we're going to have hot water that we're going to be pouring into the cold water cup. So what you need to understand is if my experiment was right the last time, then the hot water, which is lighter than the cold water, should rise to the top. So we're going to pour it in very gently. So if you can see right there, you can see that the yellow water is at the top and the clear water is at the bottom. So the hot water has risen to the top of the cup whereas the cold water stays at the bottom. Okay, so now for the third part of that activity. Basically it has to do with salt and water. Um, you were asked to do two cups of water. One cup has two tablespoons of salt in it. The other cup has five tablespoons of salt of, in it and colored. The point here is that salt also affects the density of water. So just as cold water is heavier than hot water, salt also contributes to the density of water. And you can understand because salt in the water bonds with the water um, molecules making them heavier. So we want you to have two of the same temperatures of water so that you can see that the salt does have an effect based on how much salt is in that water. So. What we're going to do is the exact same thing. I'm going to pour this one down the side of this and you should actually see the pink water concentrate at the bottom of the glass because there's way more salt in this cup than there is in this cup. And as you can see, the pink water is at the bottom. So it does indeed stay at the bottom there. So um, really, really salty water is heavier than just salt water.